Hey, thanks for stopping by. My name is Travis Barrett, and I own a human performance coaching and consulting business. And I just want to give a quick a little, you know, hopefully a little five minute video here about um, who I am, where I came from, why I got started in this field, um, and that kind of thing. So just a little introduction. So, uh, you know, rewind, I'm 36 right now, rewind all the way to when I was 16 years old. I'd been short and fat my whole life, and there was a key change that happened for me. So over the course of six months, I lost about 50 pounds. And uh, the key change that happened for me was that I got my driver's license. So every day after school, I went to the YMCA, played basketball for three, four hours, came home, went to bed, rinse and repeat over and over again. I didn't even change my diet. I didn't do anything that different. And I saw this dramatic weight loss. So when I get to college, you know, 18, have to declare a major. So I decide on nutrition. All right, cool. So I, I dug into nutrition for a couple of years and that got to be pretty boring to me pretty quick. So um, I actually changed schools, uh, transferred to Ball State University and switched my major to exercise science. So I get to exercise science, it's 2007, and uh, I immediately get in the varsity weight room with uh, Coach Jason Roberson and uh, just begin working in varsity athletics with Coach Robe uh, all throughout my undergraduate, uh, interned with the Indiana Pacers, and then from there went to graduate school at Indiana University, got my master's in applied sports science, then my first job out of school, I worked at Haskell Indian Nations University, small Native American school, worked there for two years, and then uh, moved on to the private sector uh, from 2014 to 2020. Uh, and then 2020, I accepted a job with uh, the Air Force, and I'm the head strength coach for the Sears Schoolhouse, uh, in addition to running uh, my own business, Dynamic Human Performance. So that's a quick little resume rundown there of, um, you know, what got me started in this field. Um, and then, you know, my little internships along the way. Um, I guess I left one out. I was a graduate assistant with uh, Coach uh, Kevin Schultz at University of Wisconsin Lacrosse. And, uh, you know, I had, I had tremendous mentors. A lot of people helped me. And it's one of those things where I still continue to learn each and every day. Like, I, I'm definitely not stopping at any point, never saying I know everything. Um, in fact, the deeper I get into this field, the less I feel like I know on a somewhat routine basis. So, um, you know, I, I've noticed uh, over the past couple of years, some things that have uh, kind of made me mad is that I see other fitness professionals attempting to make this stuff quote, you know, like too confusing for the everyday person. And that frustrates me because this, this material, it, it can definitely get into the weeds for sure. And it can seem highly complex and things like that. But they leverage this in an attempt to um, confuse people and make it seem like they're the only ones that have the answer. And unless you pay them a ton of money, you can't possibly get anywhere close to where you want to go. And that frustrates me. It really makes me mad because there's there's a handful of books you could read right now and anybody could figure it out and get the information they want and, you know, trial and error, figure things out. That's fine. Um, however, if you're ready to take steps today to start getting quicker results, that's where it's a good idea to work with a coach in some capacity. And the way you decide on a coach is you look at their track record of who they've worked with, you look at their education, you look at the results they've gotten for other clients, um, things like that. And if you run into a coach who says they're for anybody and everybody, that's probably not a place you want to be because, yeah, you know, I mean, coaches can get results for people, but every coach also has their niche. And there are some folks where I've straight, straight up said, you know, I, I don't think I'm the best guy for you. Um, let me refer you to somebody else that I think would be a better fit. And that's okay. That's no harm, no foul, but that's the way it should go. So uh, I would encourage you to, you know, if, if you're one of those folks that really likes to get educated and figure things out on your own, that's great. I'd love to have you here in this channel. Um, but let me also provide some other resources 
for you so that you can start looking into uh, what other folks have to say. Because it shouldn't be, you know, just take my word for it. It should be do, do your own homework, look around, read, listen um, from a lot of different people. So um, if you're interested in nutrition, look at Dr. John Berardi. Go to Google, type in his name, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. He's one of the guys who started uh, Precision Nutrition. Also along those same lines, if you're interested in nutrition and hypertrophy, look at Renaissance Periodization with Dr. Mike Isretel. If you want to get even more in the weeds, look to uh, some of the work from Dr. Andy Galpin. Uh, some more nutrition from Dr. Lane Norton. Those are my top four guys that I, I refer people to all the time. So uh, that's, that's a tremendous place to start for nutrition. So you can begin grasping you know, what goes into nutrition and then what do I want to do for fat loss? What do I want to do for muscle gain? Things like that. Um, as far as basic strength work, you should a, if possible, find a, find a local coach to work with because that hands-on experience is, you know, going to be the gold standard. But, um, if you can't do that for some reason, or it's, you know, it's too expensive, there's no one in your area, things like that, then find a good remote coach to work with or, um, you know, contact, contact somebody who knows how to look at your technique so that you're not going to get hurt in the weight room. So if you're just starting out with resistance training, start with mastering your body weight. After you've mastered your body weight, and you can do that over and over and over again, then you begin to introduce a broomstick, and then a little bit more resistance, and then a little more resistance, and get on a very basic program. You don't need anything fancy, especially when you're in the early stages. So those basic programs can be something like uh, a 5x5 five five program from Reg Park or Mark Ripito, uh, 531 from Jim Windler. Those are all tremendous, great, easy uh, places to start. And easy does not mean less effective. Um, it is a, a simple system to follow. And simple training is very hard training. So um, if you're looking at uh, recovery, mobility, flexibility, Look at the work of Gray Cook. Um, look at the work of uh, Kelly Starrett. You know, these are just a couple of guys that are coming to mind right away, and there's certainly more of them. But begin to look around on your own so that you can start to see what are some of the best in this industry saying. And then from there, you'll start to niche down and figure out what it is exactly that you're after. And the way you do that is ask yourself, what do I really, really want? What's valuable to me? Not what you've been conditioned or told is important, but what do you want? That's where it begins to take different turns. So if you're trying to outline a goal, for example, let's look at the SMART acronym, okay? So your, your goals need to be SMART in terms of specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound. So as an example, if I say I want to deadlift, okay, that's, that's good, but we can do better than that. What about I want to deadlift 500 pounds? Okay, we're getting there, but in what time frame? I want to deadlift 500 pounds by next week and I've never deadlifted before. Okay, probably not gonna happen, <laughs> um, but we can begin to see as we you know, adhere to those constraints that we can uh, get more clear about what our goals are. And once we're clear about what our goals are, then we can begin to uh, take different approaches that's going to get us closer to our goals. So if you have a max strength goal, maybe you don't start with um, a total speed program, so to speak. So anyway, um, just a couple seeds I wanted to plant there, but um, if you guys have questions about anything, please ask in the comments. Um, send me an email, travis at dynamichp.net. Um, and please subscribe to this channel. Share it with a friend if you found it helpful. Look forward to hearing from you guys.